The exhibition of the Navy of the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran's latest achievement was inaugurated on Monday. In the exhibition, a set of capabilities of the Navy, including equipment and defense systems in the field of surface, submarine, missile, UAV, etc., is displayed in two public and confidential sections. The event is aimed at showcasing the Navy of the Iranian Army's local capacities, especially while Iran is facing unlawful and oppressive sanctions. Part of the capabilities of the Iranian Navy in the production of equipment needed in the fields of UAVs, missiles, and naval reconnaissance was displayed in a specialized exhibition of indigenous achievements of the Navy. Pelican UAV, the latest surface and subsurface achievements, and the medical capability of the Iranian Navy were showcased in this specialized exhibition. Earlier, the IRGC also was displaying a new batch of vessels. The parades, in which over 100 new boats are shown off to dignities and the cameras, are increasingly frequent. The exact numbers of new vessels need to be treated with caution, but there is no doubt that it is a huge expansion and modernization. Each time some new designs are seen. The most important new design on display was the Ashura torpedo boat. This is unique in any navy, combining a rigid hull inflatable boat with lightweight torpedoes. The torpedo launchers resemble the North Korean 324mm anti-ship system. These are widely used on other IRGC boats, but have not been seen on the ribs. Other new types displayed included four new models of small missile boats. Armed with lightweight anti-ship missiles and machine guns, these are much smaller than most previous IRGC missile boats. The slight variations may be as much a factor of different boatyards being used rather than material design differences. The IRGCN, which comprises approximately 20,000 personnel, is tasked with protecting primarily the Iranian littoral. It employs an asymmetric doctrine that emphasizes speed, mobility, large numbers, surprise, and survivability and takes advantage of Iran's geography with the shallow and confined waterways of the Persian Gulf and Strait of Hormuz. Although the IRGCN has significantly upgraded its fleet in terms of size and lethality since the end of the Iran-Iraq war, it remains a force composed of smaller platforms. Rather than acquire larger ships as a more traditional navy might, the IRGCN has pursued smaller, faster vessels armed with a variety of weapon systems. Iran views acquiring these types of vessels in sufficient numbers will allow it to threaten foreign navies and overcome wartime attrition. Back in 1979, the triumph of the Islamic Revolution in 1979 under the enlightened leadership of Imam Khomeini, however, transformed Iran into an independent country. While the eight-year-long imposed war, 1980-1988, against Iran by the imperialist powers through their stooge Saddam of the repressive Ba'ath Party minority totalitarian regime of Baghdad and imposition of all the sanctions against Iran. Proved a blessing in disguise, inspiring officials and experts in Iran to develop and manufacture the needed defense equipment at home, including the naval ships and submarines. Although the Islamic Republic of Iran inherited from the U.S. stooge Pahlavi regime some foreign-built naval vessels. These were no match for the superior naval forces of their masters, the Americans, who attacked Iranian ships in the Persian Gulf during the eight years long imposed war, 1980-1988, on Iran by USA through their lackey Saddam. 
Thanks to the spirit of resistance of the Iranian nation, the Islamic Republic of Iran has come a long way since those days, and today it has a built a powerful navy in the Middle East. Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman capable of warding off enemy threats, not just in the regional waters of the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman, but also on the high seas of Indian Ocean and Red Sea. The Iranian Navy has indigenously developed and produced a wide variety of speedboats, missile launchers, frigates, destroyers, warships, helicopter carriers, support crafts, submarines, hovercrafts, reconnaissance vessels, and whatnot, including a floating naval port named Makran, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean, guarded by Iran-built naval ship the Sahin destroyer. This is the first time the Iranian Navy has rounded the southern tip of Africa to enter the Atlantic Ocean after regular calls over the past few years at Syria's Mediterranean ports and the friendly ports of the Indian Ocean. Ranging from Indonesia, Malaysia, and India to the East African coast, where near the Horn of Africa and the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea it maintains a regular presence to protect oil tankers and merchant vessels from pirates. This has alarmed the USA, which already apprehensive of the regular supply of oil and other commodities by Iranian vessels to Venezuela across the Atlantic Ocean, thinks that the day might not be far for the naval forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran to cruise off the New England coast, near to Boston, New York, and other American cities. The Iran is now responsible for the Gulf of Oman and waters beyond Iran while the Persian Gulf is guarded almost exclusively by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy, known as the IRGCN. Iran has created a strategy to keep opposing navies out of the Persian Gulf, focused on the strategically crucial Strait of Hormuz, which can be described as a choke point. Swarm attacks utilizing manned unmanned speedboats can act as a backbone for deterring opposing surface assets, and Iran frequently displays its capabilities in this area with speedboat parades. Iran conducts military drills in the Gulf and elsewhere in the country on a regular basis to boost the readiness of its armed forces. Admiral Hossein Kanzardi of Iran Navy was definitely right when he said, while the Americans are 12 miles away from our waters we are not afraid of them, but they have been terrified by the presence of the naval fleet of the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran in the Atlantic Ocean, and this fear is due to the fact that Iran's naval presence shatters the superiority of the United States in Atlantic Ocean.